Akobo in the remote far east of South Sudan. Widows of the ongoing almost four-year conflict in the country call for peace and humanitarian aid. The conflict has driven four million people, a third of the population, from their homes. 71,000, including some of these women, have come to Akobo. Mary Nyakol represents the group Women Widows. The problem that faces South Sudanese affects mostly women and children. Many of these people have fled fighting between government, SPLA and opposition forces. Akobo is poor, services are scarce, while the humanitarian needs are immense. It's also held by the opposition. Up to 15 local and international NGOs are providing humanitarian assistance in the town. The UN peacekeeping mission in South Sudan, UNMIS, is looking at ways of extending its presence in Akobo to support the humanitarian response. That's in line with its mandate to protect civilians and help create an environment conducive to the delivery of humanitarian aid. Mikolai Radlici from the NGO ACTED welcomes the move. I think it will provide um, us as the NGO partners here a greater security and we will be able to, uh, to expand our activities simply because we will feel uh, that there is you know, uh, someone to protect us. And, um, and I think this will make an impact on our programming. It could, it could grow and we could reach more beneficiaries in the area. The UN mission did have a base in Okobo, but it was closed down following an attack in December 2013, in which two Indian peacekeepers and 30 civilians were killed. The head of UNMIS, David Shearer, travelled to Okobo to meet the community and local authorities, as well as the humanitarians. It seems to me that uh, a presence here would be a very useful thing for, ha for us to, to, to have. Uh, so we've been speaking with the county commissioner, with, with uh, many of the other officials here, to see what sort of thing might be appropri most appropriate. Uh, logistically, getting a large force in here will take us months, just because of the, the difficulty of getting things here. Uh, but we're looking at what options are available us, for us to be able to expand our presence give some added value to what's going on here, um, but at the same time trying to keep our footprint relatively light. UNMIS remains impartial in the South Sudanese conflict. Mr Shearer says the mission needs to reach communities in all parts of the country, regardless of their ethnic or political background.